Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up an interesting exponential problem. It is 30th root of 5 factorial raised to the power 5 factorial over x minus 1 factorial raised to the power x factorial equal to 625. x is integer and greater than or equal to 1. I will demonstrate two ways to solve this problem. So let me write here method number 1 and I will consider 30th root 5 factorial raised to the power 5 factorial divided by x minus 1 factorial raised to the power x factorial equal to 6 to 5. Now I will consider power 30 both sides. So I will be writing here power 30 and this side also I will write power 30. Now 30th root and power 30 will be over. So it will be left with 5 factorial raised to the power 5 factorial over x minus 1 factorial raised to the power x factorial equal to 625 power 30. Now we know that 625 is 5 power 4 and whole power is 30. Now I will write one exponent law or rule. It is a power b whole power c. Then we can write it as a power b times c. Let's use it. So I will take the product of these two 4 and 30. So it will become 5 power 4 times 30. So 5 power 120. Now I will flip both sides. That means take reciprocal. So I can write x minus 1 factorial raised to the power x factorial divided by 5 factorial raised to the power 5 factorial equal to 1 over 5 raised to the power 120. Now I will take multiplication both sides with 5 factorial raised to the power 5 factorial. So let me write what we will get after that. Right hand side would be 5 factorial raised to the power 5 factorial. Denominator of RHS would be 5 power 120 and LHS would be x minus 1 factorial raised to the power x factorial. Now let me write the formula for n factorial. What does it mean? If I am writing n factorial, its meaning is it is nothing but the multiplication of all the numbers from 1 to n. So we can write like this up to 3 times 2 times 1. So if I will write 5 factorial using this formula, I can write 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And it is nothing but 120. 5 4 are 20, 3 are 60 times 2, 120. So our RHS numerator I will write 120 raised to the power 120. So I can write x minus 1 factorial raised to the power x factorial equal to 120 raised to the power 120 divided by 5 raised to the power 120. Now we know one property of exponents. It is a power n over b power n. Then we can divide these two bases a over b raised to the power whole n. So I can write here 120 divided by 5 and then common power 120. So now I can write x minus 1 factorial raised to the power x factorial. This will become 120 over 5 is 24 raised to the power 120. Let me write x minus 1 factorial raised to the power x factorial and then I will be writing 24 times it is power 120. 
now we can see if i will write 120 then 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 it is equal to 120 as we have seen earlier now 4 factorial it is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 so this is 24 so here i can write our base and exponent in terms of factorial so i will be writing x minus 1 factorial raised to the power x factorial equal to 4 factorial raised to the power 5 factorial now i can write 4 factorial as 5 minus 1 factorial and power is 5 factorial now i will compare both sides x minus 1 equal to 5 minus 1 from here we can conclude x is equal to 5 and from the exponent also x factorial equal to 5 factorial conclusion is x is equal to 5 now method number 2 using log i will write that equation x minus 1 factorial raised to the power x factorial equal to i will begin with 120 power 120 divided by 5 power 120 in next step we can write it is equal to 24 power 120 so from this equation we can consider log so x minus 1 factorial raised to the power x factorial equal to 24 raised to the power 120 now let us consider log both sides so i will write log with base 10 log with base 10 now i will write one property of log log a power b anytime we can take this b as a multiplier b log a so i can take this x factorial here and 120 i will write here so this will become x factorial times log x minus 1 factorial equal to 120 times log 24 now we know that 24 is 4 factorial 120 is 5 factorial so here we can write it is 5 factorial here we can write it is 4 factorial so equation will become x factorial log x minus 1 factorial equal to 5 factorial log 4 factorial in next step we can write 4 as 5 minus 1 comparing both sides we will conclude in the same way x will be equal to 5 now i will check my answer let's check check answer answer was x is equal to 5 so i will put x is equal to 5 and then we will check okay let's put in lhs so i will be writing 30th root of 5 factorial raised to the power 5 factorial over x minus 1 so i will be writing here 4 factorial raised to the power x factorial so 5 factorial in next step we can write 30th root of exponent is same so i will be writing 5 factorial over 4 factorial raised to the power common power 5 factorial now 5 factorial is 120 4 factorial is 24 or we can write our numerator as 5 times 4 factorial so we can write 5 times 4 factorial it is recursive row over 4 factorial raised to the power 5 factorial now we can cancel these two terms so it is 30th root of 5 power 5 factorial divided by 1 
or nothing equal to 30th root of 5 power 5 factorial. So I will write 5 power 5 factorial is 120. Then power will be 1 over 30. Now using exponent law, we can take the product in the powers. So 120 times 1 over 30. I will cancel these two. So ultimately this will convert into 5 power 4 which is equal to 625 and it is our RHS. I hope friends this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself. Bye bye.